Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode we are going to be discussing my everyday carry for April 2017, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, today we're going to be talking about my everyday carry for April 2017. Now we have some pretty innovative tools called stowaway tools by Clicker Knives that I keep in my phone case and in my tactic toothbrush for my everyday carry. So what I'm going to be doing is knocking out my phone case first so you guys can check that out so I can hop back to my normal camera. So first up is the phone case by Clicker Knives. This is for my iPhone 6S, which is what I normally phone with, and you'll see four little tabs right here. Now these four little tabs actually hold tools. This is a folding knife. We've got a fire starter with a magnesium bar and ferro rod. We've got a miniature flashlight, and we also have a straight razor. Additionally, there are a multi-tool and a seatbelt cutter that you could choose to put into the phone case, but for my first week's experiment, this is what I'm gonna be using because I feel in an everyday situation, this is what I would have on me most of the time. <laughs> Next item on the list is my watch. You guys have seen this plenty of times. Um, this is my Casio G-Shock, I wear this thing a lot. This thing's gotten beat up and just thrashed around. It's just been hanging tough for years. But um, it tells time. Now, despite the fact that I have a, wa a phone that gives me the time, I can't not seem to break away from it. I like having a watch just in case my phone does die. The next couple items are these two flashlights by Olight. This is the H1R Nova and the S10R Baton version 3 by Olight. Now I like these because they both have um, rechargeable CR123A batteries in them. So they have some small batteries, but they are rechargeable just by using the little magnetic attachment that comes with them. They are not very big. They don't take up a lot of space, but they push out a lot of light. Next item up are my keys. This is my new key bar from Keybar, and I've got my keys on here. Now in here we have my towel tool, which is that um, box opener that I use pretty often. Um, Keybar's made a few really cool advancements. Um, they actually have a built-in milled pocket clip that you can get now. This is, if you look right here, you'll see this is kind of a hollowed out light version. So you can keep the weight in your pocket a little bit lighter because they actually made the titanium frame lighter. And it's an option that you can choose. You don't have to get it that way. They also came up with these little base plates right here, designed for a really cool purpose. Is right here, if you look, you can hold tweezers, and on the other side, just like in a Swiss Army knife, you can hold a toothpick. Now, that may seem silly to some, but the fact that you can use this as a redundant item so you don't necessarily have to carry a Swiss Army knife that doesn't have a pocket clip on it, it's pretty freaking neat. Alternatively, we have what I usually keep on my keys, is I have my Princeton Tech Pulsar, little backup flashlight. I have my emergency USB and uh, lightning cables for my iPhone and um, any external batteries I have on me and I have an emergency titanium whistle from Vargo. Now this month I have two new wallets on the table that you guys have never seen before. This one is a pretty cool from Core Essentials. This is their slim EDC wallet and um, the only the literally the only issue that I've got with it and it's not a big issue it's it's a personal preference thing not more than a design flaw is the leather on this is really 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 super thin and that kind of gives me a pause for like mm, like if I need to put a lot of stuff in there how is that gonna hold up however the leather is pretty supple and this has a spot where you put your cards in and if you need to go retrieve your cards you can pull on that tab and then what that does is lift your cards up it's pretty freaking neat and this has a detachable carbon fiber money clip that you can use so if you just want to do a money clip and you want to go pretty classy you've got two options right here the next item is my new Travax contour now this is one of my absolute favorite variants from Travax wallet now I know you guys saw my video that I did with the Travax element and my only little gripe with that it was an extremely heavy wallet now this one's considerably lighter but it's got a nice little bottle opener right here. Some people think of having a bottle opener as a little silly, and I, I'm okay with that, and that's fine. But um, there's a spot for um, a lanyard if you want to keep that on a chain or you want to keep it on the lanyard so you can pull it out of your pocket easier. And right here, you can actually pull this tab open, thumb, and figure out which, you know, cards you want to pull out and pull out the one you need. And it also has a backspace for your cash. Now, 
I don't know, some people may not like this design, but I think it's pretty clever. It keeps the wallet pretty thin, it has a good feel to it, but I don't know. I'm As soon as I saw it, I was like, it was really classy, it's all made in, it's a made in America, and I was just like, I kind of like the modern take with the, you know, the metallic hardware and the leather kind of combined into like a new school and old school kind of fusion. It was pretty neat to me. My EDC prepper bracelet. Now I know a lot of you guys have seen this several times on my um, EDC videos, but I love this bracelet. It's got a full survival kit for it and it's got things that I can use that are really handy that I could use day to day. Uh, simple stuff like the flashlight and everything. But um, it's got an emergency whistle if I need it, you know, the ferro rod, the ceramic blade that's on here. Then if we need it, I have, um, there is an emergency handcuff key. We have a seatbelt cutter right here and there's just a whole bunch of like 550 fire cordage right here. There's some Kevlar thread underneath here. There's the compass, there's the ranger bands, and there's a full survival kit inside this band. Now, um, there's a little quick note that I will mention is the fact that for brand new customers um, for Super SC straps, they did send us a code for DFS20, which gives you 20% off any uh, brand new bracelet. But um, since I haven't been in a survival situation yet, you know, recently, since, you know, there's no reason I've had to use this bracelet yet. However, they sent us the bug out bracelet, which is not necessarily sized to me perfectly, but um, it is designed for a bug out situation. So we will be taking this thing out into the field, testing the various elements of it for you guys and actually letting you see this thing in action to see um, what's what in regards to this particular bracelet. Now the next item I'm gonna talk about is gonna co coincide with my stowaway tools. Now this is the brand new tactical toothbrush by Grenade Subco that you guys saw me do a individual review on and I'll link that down in the video description as well and we also um, was an unboxing for the Mission 26 Battle Box. Now personally I like this thing. This gives me, uh, because I have been going to the gym for the past few months, it gives me a way to have a micro hygiene kit and some extra items in a very convenient package so I can carry this and like my tube of toothpaste when I go to the gym and boom, I'm done. But um, some people found this silly or gimmicky and everything and well, I'm here to tell you that I don't believe it is. You are totally 4,000% entitled to your opinion and I'm entitled to mine, which is why I have my channel. But um, I think this is a pretty cool kit. If you're gonna be someone who is active and needs this, this could be something to consider. Um, a lot of people were bothered and complaining about the price. And that is something I would like to address, and that's okay, is something that I've noticed with brand new products that hit the market. If it's an innovative new design or something different that a lot of people haven't seen before, the price tends to be higher due to the, all the R&D the and the research and the development that goes into putting that product in and to try to basically try to recoup that money that they spent in development, that's usually where those initial higher costs come from. Now, with that said, rabbit trailing for a quick minute, like when the red laser pointer came out, like back in like, I wanna say in the early 80s, to get a red laser pointer, you were paying thousands and thousands of dollars for that thing. And nowadays, because of the way we have developed technology and made it simpler, cheaper, faster, and more effective to build that same technology, you can go down to the corner store, or CVS, or Walgreens, pick one up for like $1.99. But since we love you guys so freaking much, and the fact that we already have got a tactical toothbrush of our own, I wanted to take the one that we got in the Mission 26 Battle Box and give this bad boy away. And the easiest way to enter into this giveaway is one, you must be a subscriber. You need to leave a comment on this video. You need to like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and you also need to share out this video for us. Next item on a list is something that I really, really like, and I have been wearing belts and wearing pants for the past, I don't know, few months very regularly because San Antonio is so hot. I wear shorts a lot, but I have been transitioning over to jeans and pants and work pants a lot more often because, you know, it was recently cooler and the weather is still here. It's cooler than normal. So, um, slide belts sent us one. Uh, these things are freaking awesome. This is a nice ratchet belt where it's basically infinitely adjustable all the way down the full length of the belt, but it's got a nice plastic and polymer core in here, so you could use this for hanging tools off of, using it as a gun belt if needed. And we did check and test this thing out at our good friends over on On Your Six Holsters here in San Antonio. And we found out through some testing that this does work inside the waistband and outside the waistband just fine. What really sets this um, buckle apart for me are the tools that are inside the buckle. Right here, we've got a ferro rod and a flashlight. Right there, that's pretty cool, and that's a ferrocerium rod. It took really nicely right in here and held in place pretty securely by some O-ring seals. But then we have a knife right here that comes pretty darn sharp. It'll be a good backup blade for you, and there's a bottle opener. So those four tools create uh, what they are calling the survival belt series. 
First up, this is the Larkin Tactical Pin by Battlebox. They actually developed and created this pin. I like this pin a lot because on the outside we have the reinforced tip, which is the carbide glass breaker, which I tested on the Mission 25 Battle Box pretty thoroughly, and it also has a high grade pin. But what I like about it is they take these O-ring seals on this end and that end, so when you use the lid, the reinforced lid cap to put it on, it doesn't just you know turn and slide right off. But this writes really, really well. It's nice and lightweight. It is made of aircraft grade, hard anodized aluminum. So you're gonna have a nice high quality pin on you and an emergency tool in a pinch. For those times that you wanna be really super discreet, this looks like a normal Sharpie. But I know a few of you who watch my channel for a while know that this is no ordinary Sharpie whatsoever. This is actually an emergency glass breaker. Now I'm sure you guys could get inventive and think of a few other uses for this bad boy. But um, yeah, so if you need to carry this on you and keep it in your pocket and keep it discreet, it looks like a plain Jane everyday Sharpie with the label that kind of rubbed off and you're pretty much good to go to have a emergency tool on you in your pocket without anybody really knowing what it is. Now all of these knives are brand new for 2017 and I want to say a couple of them haven't even been released yet which we feel very blessed to be able to actually test EDC these beforehand. So the first one is the Bastion Gear Braza folder. This is a pretty nice aggressive design and we did do a nice parcel testing on our Battle Box Mission 25, which I'll link that video in the video description as well, where you get to see this nice little flipper in action. This thing has a titanium coated stainless steel handles, a nice um, mid carry pocket clip, frame lock. It does come pretty centered, it looks really sharp out of the box, good smooth action, and it comes with a D2 tool steel with a nice aggressive, mostly full flat ground blade. This is the Jettison from CRKT, and this is a Robert Carter um, design, which is pretty freaking nice. He also designed this bled boy as well. But um, it comes with a steel frame lock, which has a nice early lock up on it, nice deep carry pocket clip, and it's got a really, really cool, kind of like a sheep's point, kind of tanto design. I love the uh, flipper look to it. It's nice, thin, ergonomic blade. It's not too heavy, and all of these knives, I can actually say, we just did an initial sharpness test, all of them came really sharp out of the box. This one is the Remedy, which is a Leon Mong design, and this guy just makes some gorgeous looking, freaking very ergonomic blades. This one also is ACR 13. We love the straight back. Um, all this one is hollow ground. This one has got to be the absolute sharpest out of all the folders. It's got a good frame lock, deep carry pot clip, but the deep carry pot clip doesn't ride all the way up. It does have a lantern on it. But um, a lot of these knives you will see, I do believe their street price will be ranging in the $50 to $60 category, which is really nice because having some really good quality blades that aren't super expensive are nice. These next two blades we're gonna be talking about are the Directive by CRKT. And this is their Tanto design, which more reminds me of a sheep's foot. But a lot of people who already own this blade say that it makes a really good skinner when they go out into the field because of that choil, they're able to really dig onto it, but if they need to have that extra room, they've got it. And um, both of these blades came out really, really nearly nice and sharp. It is a liner lock. It does come with a standard pocket clip. It is fully ambidextrous, tip up, tip down carry as well. It is a good flipper design. It's a little stiff in the beginning, so you will need to play with it. And this is their drop point variant right here, which I think is pretty freaking sharp as a really good tip. So if you need to be doing any work with the tip, you'll be good to go. And like I said, these are, um, coated 8CR13 MOV blades. Now this next one is the Hollow Point Plus P by Ruger. This is a Ken Onion design with the um, swept up tip. And this one came really, really sharp. And I've noticed they're really, really getting into the flippers heavy this year with all their designs. This is kind of like a, a liner frame lock, which is kind of interesting. I've always thought it was interesting that they integrated the um, frame lock inside that. But the thing is, is, is for hard using this blade, it will only be as strong as this thin piece right here. However, for a light duty EDC blade, it will do really well. It came just a little off center. Nice deep carry pocket clip. I love how close to the end that comes. It is really, really smooth action and did come really sharp out of the box. And most of these blades came with absolutely no blade play whatsoever. For those of you who like big blades, this bad boy is called this two stage, which is also a Robert Ricardo design. And this is a nice, big, beefy folder, also made from ACR 13 MOV. And it's a nice Tanto design. I love the compound little grinds and the swedges and everything they did with it. It's got some decent jimping, but it's not too aggressive. That flipper design right there really will help it lock in your hand, so if you gotta do some heavier tasks with it. This thing came super rock solid. I like the fact that it's got a decent deep carry pocket clip on it, a deep carry pocket clip design. 
but it also comes with tip up, tip down carry on left or right also. And then they have a really good hard strike plate. So if you need an emergency glass break or breaking some rocks out in the field, you're good to go. Last but not least is this new neck knife, which is called the Cordite by RMJ Tactical. This is a Ruger collaboration with them. I like the little six shooter lanyard bead on there, but uh, this is a nice little sheep's foot kind of blunt tip little utility blade that you can use. And I typically don't carry neck knives, but since this is new for 2017, I figured I'd go ahead and give it a whirl. And um, yeah, this is also made from a black stone washed HDR 13 MOB. I do like the sheath. It does come with a special mount that you can use it to belt clip if you want to. But uh, I'm gonna be trying it as a neck knife first. So I hope you guys are excited about all the new pocket knives gonna be coming in. But now what a lot of you guys wanna know is what am I carrying on me and testing this week. This is what I'm choosing to carry on me this week as my experiment because like I said as new gear comes in and new products are developed throughout the years and we get them into the channel, I want to try them out and test them but this isn't normally what I know a lot of people would carry. I know some people carry this much, some people carry more, some people carry less but for me I feel this is a good well-rounded um, testing platform for me to really get a feel for all the new tools. I will be doing a pocket dump with pants on so you can actually see that because a lot of people were complaining that you wore cargo shorts last time, you can carry them. I'm like, well, that's my choice to carry cargo shorts or having cargo pants. I like them because I can carry extra gear in them and they work really, really well. All in all, this is my everyday carry for April 2017. If you like this video and the new gear that we're going to be pushing and doing testing for, and you're really excited about the giveaway that we're going to be hosting for the Tactical Toothbrush, definitely give this video a big thumbs up. And one really quick announcement we want to give you guys before we leave is we have our impending 50,000 subscriber giveaway where we're going to be giving away $5,000 worth of awesome gear and prizes for you guys. And right now we're about almost 43,000 subscribers, so definitely keep liking, sharing, and sharing this out with your friends and family and your social media network so we can keep growing and thriving, making awesome videos for you guys. And if you're interested in any of all this gear that we talked about and showcase and is on my EDC, I'll definitely be dropping a bunch of links down in the video description. But that just about does it for now. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.